Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm really glad you're here. I'm really excited and pleased to see all of the new viewers who joined us for the Summer Make Along. If you're new here, my name is Becca and this channel is all about my love for spinning, knitting, weaving, sewing, crocheting, all the fiber things. If you're enjoying this fiber adventure, please consider leaving a like or a comment or subscribing to my channel or sharing with your friends. I invite you to grab whatever project you have on the go and join me. Let's make some stuff. Our laid back, stress-free summertime make-along is in full swing. There are no rules to this make-along, just as long as you're making something that you would either wear or like to make during the summer when it's warm. The, the make-along will go until the end of July, so there's still time to join. You can make one project or as many as you'd like, and you can share the things that you make on Instagram and Ravelry with the hashtag Summer Make Along, or join our Ravelry group, Summertime Make Along. All the details are in the description box below. I really hope you'll join us. Today I wanted to share with you some summertime spinning, or at least spinning a nice fiber for summertime, cotton. You might be surprised to know that cotton comes in more than just white. There is also a beautiful natural green cotton, and this is not dyed, this is how it comes off of the plant, and also this beautiful cinnamon brown color. Spinning cotton, because the fibers are so incredibly short, You have to spin really fast in order to lock those fibers together. And so you need a special type of spindle or a special tool to be able to spin fiber from cotton. And that, the um, ideal spindle for that is called a takli. And this is Hindi for spindle. Um, it's a metal shaft with a pointed bottom and a brass whorl and it spins just super, super fast, especially if you use a supported spindle bowl for it. Um, but that allows you to spin cotton thread, which you can then ply if you like, um, and use like yarn, or you can um, use the cotton thread by itself. Another spindle that is good for spinning cotton is called an akka, which is a wooden spindle with the whorl in the center and these whorls on both of these are permanent so they they don't come off but it does a great job of spinning cotton and spinning cotton I've done spinning cotton with the hand spindles but another tool that also comes from India that is fantastic for spinning cotton is called a charka and I have what's called a book charka and the story behind the charka I find is really um, inspiring and beautiful. The charka was a symbol for the Indian people of uh, resistance and economic freedom from British rule. And Gandhi used the charka and spun his own uh, cotton and also encouraged others to do so. And the reason for that is that um, in India, there is a long tradition and art of textiles. And when the British, during the British rule of India, spinning uh, was not allowed. They took all of the raw materials, all of the cotton, and shipped it back to England where it was spun into thread and woven into cloth, which they then sold back to the Indian people at high cost. And so it was um, a form of economic control that the British had over the Indian people. And so spinning your own cotton, spinning your own thread, making your own cloth was a sign of political resistance to that. But it was dangerous to even own one of these charkas. And so 
they created this book charka, which you could hold, put on a shelf, cut, put a cover on it, um, put it on a shelf, and it looked just like any of the other books on your shelf. So, but what's inside of this charka is just a miraculous little machine that's everything is just tucked away perfectly. There are two wheels inside. One is a larger wheel that is the the drive wheel and then there is a smaller wheel which spins the spindle. There's a place inside to store three different spindles and these can fit in there whether they're empty or full. Um, also inside my particular one there is a sneaky um, swift tucked away that you can assemble and crank by hand um, and it's just an ingenious piece of engineering how everything fits inside this little box. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for where you can buy one of these if you're so inclined for yourself and uh, I wanted to take you along um, on some cotton spinning with my charka.
Next, I want to share with you some of my finished objects for the summertime make-along. The first one is the all-day beret that I am wearing. Uh, this was a freak pattern that I got from Michaels on one of those tear-off sheets. Uh, it called for a bamboo blend yarn, but I made it in Barocco modern cotton because that's what I had in my stash, and I think it turned out really super cute. Um, it really is light and airy with the lace pattern. And so uh, you really can wear it all day if you're so inclined. Um, I have several other colors of this yarn. This is the same yarn that I used to make my uh, crop circles and wildflowers scarves. So if you've seen my previous videos where I shared those. So I have several colors of this yarn and I may end up making one in tan and one in blue and one in pink. Who knows? We'll see um, how that goes. But this was my first finished object, the all day beret. The second finished object I have is my rustic cabin socks. These are on the sock blockers, but they're, they're dry. They're all finished. Um, these are a self striping yarn from Knit Picks. Um, and I did an afterthought heel on a vanilla sock pattern so that it would not mess up the, the stripe pattern. Um, I went ahead and did the entire toe up. These were done two at a time toe up. So I went ahead and did from the toe all the way to the cuff. And then I came back and did the afterthought heel at the end. So um, I love the colors, how they've turned out. Um, and 
they blocked up beautifully and I can't wait to wear them but I wanted to bring you along with me as I did this afterthought heel because I thought it would be uh, this wasn't the first time I've done an afterthought heel but it's always a little bit intimidating and scary to cut into your knitting uh, so come along with me and let's do an afterthought heel
project that I'd like to share with you is not quite finished, nearly finished. That is my black sparkly bag. This is a crocheted bag um, in another one of these free patterns. This one was from Hobby Lobby. It's a Coates and Clark pattern. Um, I used Bernat Satin Sparkle Acrylic Yarn for this and um, it has a loop closure which is just a crocheted chain on a button which I added and the only thing I have left to do is to line it. So I'm going to line it in some black fabric that I have in my stash so that it won't show through the uh, crochet because you can maybe see there are some holes in the crochet as there always are. Um, but I was wondering if I might use some sort of a contrasting fancy print fabric for the inside and do a double layer of the lining. What do you think? Should I do the fancy print on the inside or just one layer of black? Let me know in the comments. And the last item that I'd like to share with you is a work in progress. So I finished one pair of socks and immediately couldn't wait to get another pair on the needles. So this is my um, iris socks. Again, this is two at a time toe up from in a, uh, I'm going to do a vanilla sock pattern again with some self striping yarn. This is uh, another yarn from Turtle Pearl Yarns on Etsy um, and the sock color is called Iris and I have contrasting green yarn that will be the toes or is the toes and will be the heels and the cuffs and so far they're completely green because that's where I started with the self striping uh, but I can't wait till the purple starts coming in and the self striping pattern starts emerging so Another work in progress, another pair of socks, Iris. That's it for this video. I really hope you'll consider joining our summertime make along. All the details are in the description box below. You can share what you make on Instagram and Ravelry with the hashtag summer make along and join our Ravelry group, summertime make along. Thank you so much for spending some of your creative time with me today. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.